Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Jay Myrax at R2S.com. I got a quick tip for all of my Mac users out there that are doing music production. This tip will save you in applications that have issues with zoom or visibility on certain parameters. So check this tip out and let me know what you think. Peace. All right, so what's going on, y'all? It's Jay Myrax with AltruS.com. Recently, one of my producer buddies reached out to me and they were inquiring about Zoom functionality, specifically in machine software. Now, this producer buddy was saying that they were having issues because there was apparently no Zoom functionality from the hardware or the software for that matter. And at first I was like, okay, what do you mean there's no zoom? Of course there's software zoom. So you have like the software zoom here. If you click on this scroll bar here, you can zoom in and out of the arranger page. And also if you're in the um, pattern mode, you can zoom in and out on the pattern and you can see the notes very large if you want to. But they were saying, no, actually what I need to be able to see are the notes on the piano roll because this keyboard is so small and I'm on a laptop, so it's very hard to see which notes I'm selecting when I'm moving the individual MIDI across the piano roll. So this situation actually comes up quite often in a lot of software applications. And the way that I dealt with it personally was to deal with it outside of the application. I had this issue before when I was doing a lot of editing and it was getting very frustrating for me and there was no way that I was going to continue to strain my eyes or my back or anything like that trying to see the parameters. So thankfully OSX provides a feature that allows you to zoom regardless of whether the application offers zoom for those parameters or that section of the software or not. So the way that you would activate this zoom is to go to your system preferences When you get to system preferences, what you want to do is click on the accessibility icon. When you get to accessibility, you're going to see display and the second option is going to be zoom. So in the zoom menu, there's an option here that says use keyboard shortcuts to zoom. So I have this enabled now. What this option allows you to do now is to use keyboard shortcuts. So here's the keyboard shortcuts here, and these keyboard shortcuts will allow you to zoom in and out of the software, regardless of whether the software actually offers a zoom for that particular function. So here's what it looks like in action. So my friend was saying that they were having issues seeing the piano roll notes. So if I use the zoom feature now, now I can really clearly see the individual notes on the piano roll. And what's great about this zoom feature is that the zoom is in context of where the cursor is. And that's one of the main issues that I find with working with a lot of software applications is that zoom focus and zoom context becomes a little bit of a gray area. But with this, particular feature, the zoom is not a great area. So if I put the cursor over here by pattern two on the arranger machine, I'm just going to zoom and the focus is on pattern two. So it's always in the context of wherever my cursor is, which is a great thing. So hopefully this tip helps you. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you haven't already done so, check out my free six part video course called Sound Mind Sessions. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description here. So I want you to click on that link and that'll take you to where you can get access to the free six part video course for music producers. It's a great course. It's over an hour of music production instruction, advice and wisdom that I'm sharing with you guys for free. So I say take advantage of it. All right, until next time, I just wanna tell you guys, peace and God bless. Music